Information Minister Maria Aurangzeb termed the rain-induced flooding that is ravaging the country and has caused more than 900 deaths a national emergency. The PMLN leader said that it was time to demonstrate national spirit at this critical juncture to deal with the extraordinary disasters in Sindh and Balochistan. Aurangzeb added that the federal government, along with the provinces, was making tireless efforts and all the resources were being mobilized. Meanwhile, Climate Change Minister Sherry Naman has said that the entirety of Pakistan's south was inundated and all resources would have to be gathered for this major crisis. She said the Pakistan Army and the National Disaster Management Authority were active in relief and rescue operations. Providing some figures of the damage so far, Rahman said 20 million people were rendered homeless or without shelter, with 913 deaths already recorded so far. So, we have to make a better coordinated effort, but we have to make a better coordinated effort. We have to make a better coordinated effort. And we have to make a better coordinated effort. And we have to make फोकस इस पे करें कि हमें लोगों तक इमदाद पहुंचानी है और उनकी जो मुतासर मुतासरीन के जो हालात हैं उनको जागर करना है चाहे हमें रियलाइजेशन अपनी खुद इमदाद करनी हो और मुल्क से बाहर की इमदाद हो ये इंटरनेशनल तरीका है जी टू गेट इंटरनेशनल एड During the 250th Corps Commanders Conference, Chief Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa briefed the Forum on External and Internal Security Situations, External and Internal Security Situations with particular focus on the flood situation in the country, according to a statement issued by the ISPR, expressing deep sorrow over the loss of precious lives and extensive damage to infrastructure due to unprecedented rains and floods. The Forum resolved to spare no efforts for mitigating the sufferings of flood affectees. General Bajwa appreciated the ongoing relief efforts and directed army formations to render all possible support to the people affected by floods. PTI Chief Imran Khan was granted interim pre-arrest bail in two cases registered against him in connection with the PTI rally held in Islamabad on 20th August. The former Prime Minister had been booked in a terrorism case for his controversial remarks about a female judge at the rally, while a separate FIR has been registered against him on charges of violating Section 144 in the capital on the day of the rally. Imran's bail plea in the case pertaining to his remarks about the judge was heard at an anti-terrorism court in the capital today, with Judge Raja Javed Abbas Hassan granting him interim bail till 1st September against a surety of 100,000 rupees. The Pakistani rupee continued to erode against the US dollar ahead of the International Monetary Fund's executive board meeting on 29th August in Washington. According to the State Bank of Pakistan, the local currency closed at 219.41 rupees per dollar in the interbank market, a depreciation of 1.03 rupees or 0.47%. Analysts have attributed the fall to a higher demand for dollars, particularly by travelers flying to the United Arab Emirates.